All right, guys, so for this pregnancy diaries, I skipped last week because there really wasn't much. Sorry, <laughs> GPS is on. There wasn't much to update you, but we're literally turning into my OBGYN right now. Siri, can you please, <laughs> um, for one o'clock appointment. Thank you. Um, I think today is just like a regular exam. I don't think there's anything special today, but. And the, the baby's a little bit healthy today. Yeah, I think they're just gonna check my weight. Um, and they're gonna check her, her my mom's baby. I and wonder, I, I don't know what I'm, uh, my, the next appointment that I have is my ultrasound. Ooh, the next appointment that I have is my ultrasound and then another exam, which will be super, super exciting. But I gotta go in because I'm a few minutes away from my appointment and this one has to pee anyways. <laughs> I got my after visit summary, but I got to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time. Oh, I almost cried. <laughs> I was trying to keep it together for the doctor. Oh, I thought I had something in my hair. I was trying to keep it together for the doctor, but the, oh, it was my baby oh okay pull yourself together <laughs> um no that was really i really needed that that was really really awesome to hear um but yeah no, everything looked great like i said the next time that i go in will be my ultrasound and then i have an exam right after that ultrasound so tj will be picking this one up from school that day um it's at the very beginning of september but we um I will like read all my pregnancy diary stuff when I get home and I get a chance to like sit down and talk to you guys some more but for now we got some errands to run. Alright guys so we are back home. I am actually filming this quite late in the evening so my husband might walk in at any point in today's pregnancy diaries but that's okay even the sun is going down look you can see like if I lean forward just the tiniest bit you can see the sun coming down. We're just gonna stay back. Anyways, today was just super exciting to actually be able to hear the baby's heartbeat. Um, you know, I had been talking for a while how it was um, different from Ella's pregnancy because with Ella, I think I saw her for the first time probably around like 15 weeks and I heard the heartbeat really, really fast. So like this baby, you know, I, I, I'm on 16 weeks now. Sorry, I just picked my nose. <laughs> it was itchy right here. <laughs> um... You know, with this baby, I'm on 16 weeks. I'm almost like, we're gonna know the gender next month. And I had like no, I hadn't heard anything. I haven't seen it. I haven't gotten pictures, like nothing done. So when I heard the heartbeat, like it just, there's something really, really soothing about hearing it. So like that really put me in like a good mood. And um, I don't know, it was just, it was really amazing. Anyways, I didn't end up recording last week because there really wasn't a whole lot to update you guys on. Um, I was pretty much feeling the same, but just to kind of give you an overview of how I'm feeling this week, I feel the most normal that I have since uh, probably the, I think the day after my birthday, June 1st, I had been really, really sick. I wasn't able to hold any food down. Um, I'm actually, I'm trying to film this tonight because I'm working on some projects, but one of the projects that I'm working on is like a taste test. So I'm definitely able to eat a lot more. In fact, I wanna eat just about everything, <laughs> which is great because for the first couple of months, I was so incredibly sick. I wasn't able to eat anything. And then slowly but surely, I was able to hold more and more food down. I still have to be careful. I can't overdo it on um, sweets that still kind of gets to me, especially chocolate will kind of make me feel sick after a while, but I'm definitely able to eat more just normal food than I have been. And it's funny because now I'll eat and like 20 minutes later, I'll want to eat again. I've gained, I think when I went to the doctor's appointment today, I should have paid closer attention, but I believe I was at 124 pounds, which is 10 pounds more than four weeks ago, which is kind of crazy to me, but um, that's good. That's what we want to see. And I was really worried at the beginning of my pregnancy that I wasn't going to be able to gain the weight that I wanted to because of how sick I was getting. But now my appetite is definitely kind of helping me along. So let's just look at real quick at the baby. This was last week. And honestly, it, lo it looks quite the same from last week to this week. So that was last week. And then this is this week. So it looks relatively the same but there are 
Um, a couple subtle differences we'll quickly discuss here. And your little one is able now, a, what? Did I? Wait a minute, I might have. Did I do a pregnancy diaries last week? You know what, y'all? I think I did a pregnancy diaries last week and I just like completely forgot. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I went I went a week back too far. I'm like, I read this. I, I apologize. The heartbeat is beating regularly on average at about 150 beats per minute. The bones inside your body, the bones inside the baby's body are hardening and the tiny legs and arms are now completely formed. Even though your baby's eyes are still closed, they have the ability to sense changes in lights through the eyelids. So that was last week. <laughs> now this week, um, the fat formation. So the veins have been that have been showing through my baby's skin are becoming less obvious at fat formation begins. The little baby fat. Oh, that's so chunky. I love it. The little heart is busy pumping 25 quarts of blood a day, which we got to hear for the first time today. And the conium the first bowel movement of your baby after birth is starting to form in your baby's bowel now i missed that one with ella i think she did it when the nurses had her because i guess it's like a really i don't mean to be i mean this is a pregnancy diaries guys if you didn't want graphic detail this is not the series for you but um it's like a really hard black poop <laughs> and everyone was warning me about it and I never saw it. So I think she did it when the nurses had her. Um, but that's it. So that's what's going on this week. My baby is forming poops. <laughs> Overall, I just, I feel the most normal that I have felt throughout my whole pregnancy. I don't like feel pregnant. I'm definitely popping out. I'll show you guys my belly, but I can't wear pants. Like, I cannot wear pants anymore. I haven't been able to wear pants, but like even stretchy pants, like anything spandex. Ella, is that on the TV, honey? Concerning, I'll be right back. Sorry, I heard running water and when you <laughs> have a toddler in the other room, that's a bit concerning, but she was just washing her hands. I think she just used the potty, so. Um, yeah, I feel the most normal. Now, I've been trying to get on um, a better sleeping schedule because I love school starting in like two weeks, you guys. It's kind of crazy and I wanna be up and like ready to go. Um, and I have to have her at, at school at 8.30, so I'm trying to get into this routine of waking up at 5.30, getting in the shower, and I'm like dead in the morning. I am dead in the morning, I promise you. Like the latest that I've gone to sleep the past two months is probably 10 o'clock at the most. Unless I couldn't sleep and like was tossing and turning, but that's different. Like I go to bed so early and like 6.30, 7 o'clock, she comes into my bedroom and I'm just a zombie. Like I find it so difficult to get up. I've been setting my alarm every morning for 6 o'clock because I figure, you know what, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> we'll start at 6 o'clock and move our way down, but I cannot get up. Like I cannot get up. It takes me a few minutes to be able to roll out of bed. My eyes are stinging. Like I'm just like so flipping tired. I don't know why. Um, well, I do. I'm forming a human being. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully I'll be able to kind of get into the groove. Like, I'm really trying to get into the groove of getting up early. And I just don't like mornings where I have to rush. Like, I definitely don't like feeling like I'm running out of time. It stresses me out. I want good, calm mornings. <laughs> So I've been trying to do that, but again, I'm having a really hard time waking up. I'm just like super tired. And mind you, if I'm going to bed regularly between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, she wakes up at 6.30. I'm still almost getting like 10, you know, I get like between 10 to 12 hours of sleep every night. Like it's a little too much sleep. And I'm wondering if that could be the problem, if I'm getting like too much, like when you oversleep and then feel too tired, I don't know. So that <laughs> that's something I've been dealing with. And then the other thing is just like sh short term memory loss has been crazy recently. Like I, you literally saw it in this video. I was doing week 14. I was reading week 14 and we had already done it and I forgot for a minute that I already read this on a camera to you guys. I forgot that I did a pregnancy diaries for you guys a couple weeks ago. I knew, I knew at some point I skipped a week because there wasn't much going on. I just forgot what week it was. But like I'm telling you today, <laughs> this is so random. Um, and I'll show you my belly because this video is probably getting long. 
but today I had gone to a mall that specifically has Ulta and I'm like perfect it has Windsor which I needed a new sticky bra at and I needed eyelashes so I'm like I can kill two birds with one stone we can go to this one mall it has both stores I'm in Ulta with the lashes in my hand and I cannot for the life of me remember what else I needed and, a, and an assistant came up to me and she's like, are you finding everything? And I'm like, I forgot what I needed. <laughs> and she was like literally listing off products that I could possibly need. She's like, do you need lotions? Do you need foundations? I'm like, no, like I'm going through my makeup routine in my head. I'm like, no, I'm not out of anything. I said, but I swear I needed something in here. And then as I had her playing, uh, it hit me that I was wearing a sticky bra and it was kind of a reminder that I needed one. <laughs> so just like little things like that. And um, I'm telling you guys, like her school stuff is literally still sitting on this table. You're gonna see a back to school haul. Um, maybe I'll, if, 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 if it's not posted before this video, it's definitely coming. I just have a Japanese subscription box that is like, like on a time limit, so I'm not sure. If it's not out already, it'll definitely be like the next couple of videos that I post, but like that video I filmed over a week ago and all this stuff is still sitting here, like trying to be productive, <laughs> but it's been real difficult. Anyways, let me stand up, show you my belly real quick, and then we'll end the pregnancy diaries. I apologize for the glare, guys. I moved the chair out of the way. I have never filmed down here at this time of day, but I'm wearing a high-waisted skirt, and I swear I'm not gonna be able to wear this, <laughs> this much longer. Oh my goodness gracious, the zipper like wants to bulge out, but yeah, I have this little top on, and then this high-waisted skirt. So here, oh, here's my belly. Very cutesy, cutesy, poopsy. I'm telling you, I just feel like bloated. <laughs> like I feel like my stomach is stretching and that's exactly what it's doing. And I just, oh, let's make a little heart. <laughs> um, no, I just feel, I feel like a whale, but that's okay. That's just, <sighs> here's my baby. Can't believe it. I feel like I'm so much bigger this time around than I was with Ella, but I know during your second um, pregnancies, things tend to happen a little faster anyway, so. Oh, if I back up a little bit, that works. There we go. So that is it for these two weeks of the Pregnancy Diaries. We are almost halfway there. Woo! I'm tired of being <laughs> pregnant. No, I'm kidding. I, I miss wearing my normal clothes. I miss like not feeling like a gigantic whale. Um, but I'm only gonna get bigger and it's fun and I gotta I gotta keep reminding myself just to enjoy it. This is probably the best part of the pregnancy right now. It's my second trimester. Third trimester I'm gonna get real big and real tired and real cranky. So I just gotta remember to enjoy this because I don't know if we're gonna have another baby and that's okay if we don't. I will love my two babies more than anything in the entire world. Like just what Ella has given me over these past five years has just been full of laughs. A few scares. <laughs> Um, <laughs> if you saw my horribly hilarious ER story time, you will know what I'm talking. Just stupid stuff, but she's given me so many life experiences and I can't wait to hold this new baby and see, you know, is it a boy or a girl? Is it, you know, I just, I'm so excited for the new adventures that is coming along. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.